Good morning and welcome to your Daily Sparks. You know, good customer service, seems the older we get, the more we complain about not getting good customer service. It doesn't matter if we're eating at a restaurant or waiting in a line to pay somewhere, or groceries or on the phone seeking help, you know, uh, to some guy in India, fixing a computer problem, whatever. We want customer service and we feel we deserve it. Some of us wonder if our culture has completely lost the concept of great service. But what about companies that actually focus on service? They empower their customer service reps to solve problems and to make restitution where needed. They put themselves in the place of the uh, com consumer when problems arise. They understand that people can sometimes get frustrated and are eager to advance their corporate image by turning angry customers into, into to customers who actually love them because their problem was dealt with. Now, long before Jesus was, was born, Isaiah wrote that the coming Messiah would be a servant. And Jesus is the ultimate servant leader. And during his ministry on earth, Jesus identified himself as the servant. He said, Mark 10, 45, the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. So service is something that characterized the life of Jesus. And it's something that we are very hungry for in this modern age. Jesus put himself last and served others first while he walked the earth. People clamoured to get close to him, to touch him, to hear his, his words and be healed. His service attracted people because it was countercultural even in those days. You didn't get someone who gave so selflessly as he gave to his people. See, Jesus is the servant, but he also calls us, his followers, to be servants as well. Whoever wants to become great among you, he said, must be your servant. And whoever wants to be first must be the slave of all. See, true service involves setting your own interests and your own perspective aside and saying, how can I meet your needs? How can I bless you, not myself? When you're committed to this kind of activity, you'll be like the business that focuses on customers first and finishes with satisfied customers, even if things have gone wrong. And that was the case with Jesus. He stood out and you can stand out as well today as you go through your life. Why don't you serve others and bless others instead of pushing your own point of view and pushing your own needs and desires? The question we must all answer is this. Will I, as Jesus' follower, allow the quality of service to be the mark of my life? What about that today as you face your day? Go forth and serve. We'll see you tomorrow on Sparks.